Hi guys, my name is Jaime Valencia, I'm part of the PDA Technical Advisors team within Cisco and today I'm going to show you how to configure Conference Now and I'm also going to show you a little demo. I hope this is useful for you. In order to use Conference Now, we need to enable the option in our users. We're going to use the same user that we have been using in the other videos, which is going to be Otis. And something very important. The conference now number that is going to be assigned to the user is going to be the same as his self-service user ID. And the pin that you define for him is going to be his host key. If we go all the way down in the user page, we're going to see the conference now information. And you will see that this user is enabled for conference now. As an admin, you can define the attendees access code in CUCM in this page. Or the user can define his own in self-care portal. I'm going to show you that in a minute. As you remember, all of these users are LDAP sync users, and I didn't go into every single user and I clicked on enable and user to host conference now. I enabled that by using the feature group template, which is under user management, user phone at, feature group template. This was the feature group template that we assigned to our LDAP sync agreement. In here, we chose the option to enable end user to host conference now. Now, I'm going to show you how this looks from the self-care portal page for this user. We're going to log in into the self-care portal for our user Otis. And once we're here, we're going to click on general settings. And the option is going to be all the way down. In here, you can also configure the attendees access code that you might want. And something important, it might look that you can modify the meeting number in here, but you can't. Right now I'm trying to type in something to delete it, but I can't. So if someone comes and tells you that they, it looks like they can change it and they cannot, it's because they actually cannot change it. Only the administrator can change it, and in order to change it, you need to go ahead and use the self-service ID. In this case, let's set this to use. And we're going to save. Now we're going back to CUCM and I'm going to show you how to configure the directory number that we are going to dial for conference now. The configuration in CUCM is really simple. We need to go to call routing and we click on the conference now option. We're going to choose an IBR directory number. In this case, let's use start 3000. You need to sign it at route partition, a description, and you can also configure an MOH while the participant is waiting. This is used when one of the participants joins before the host does. We're going to save. One of the things that you need to keep in mind with this configuration is that the limit of users that you can have for conference now is defined by the meet me parameters. Let's go to system, service parameters, and we need to go to our call manager service parameters. We need to look for the meet me unicast parameter. As you can see, the default is for if you want to have more users than that for a meet me or a conference now meeting, you will need to adjust this accordingly. Something that is also very important is that the IBR itself supports G711, G729, and wideband. Does this mean that you can use G729 with conference now? Well, that depends. If you have a conference reach that supports G729, or if you have a combination of a software conference bridge or a conference bridge that only supports G711 plus a transcoder, yes, you can. On this example, since I'm going to use the software conference bridge on CUCM, if I had configured this in my regions to use G729, it would fail because the conference bridge on CUCM would not support G729. I'm going to have some information in the description and some links that I suggest you read about this feature. Now we're going to do a demo of this. If you notice, the attendees access code that we configure in our self care portal now also shows up in CUCM admin. And we're going to go ahead with the demo. We're going to dial start 3000 so that we can get to the IBR. Welcome. To join a conference now, please enter a meeting number followed by pound.
If you are the meeting host, please enter your PIN. Otherwise, press pound to continue. And right now we are already in the meeting. We do not have any MOH because we are the conference host. I'm going to show you how it looks if you are one of the attendees and you join before the conference host does. We're going to drop this call and we're going to dial one more time Star 3000. Welcome. To join a conference now, please enter a meeting number followed by pound. If you are the meeting host, please enter your PIN. Otherwise, press pound to continue. Please enter the attendee access code followed by pound. As you can see, right now we are getting the MOH that we configured. If we are already in the meeting as an attendee and the host joins, then we're going to stop hearing MOH and we are going to join the conference. Let me drop this call. And those would be the two scenarios. That is going to be the IBR that you're going to get. This is actually all there is to the configuration. A lot of people had been asking for something like this in which they wanted to secure their MedMe conference. Now this is possible. A lot of people also wanted to do this by having uh, the ID. Can you configure the conference now directory number as a DID? Yes, you can. As long as you can dial the directory number that is defined internally or externally, you are going to get the IBR and it's going to be the same behavior and the same experience for everybody. As you can see, it's really easy to go through the configuration of conference now. Now you can tell everybody how it works and what they are going to hear. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this was useful for you.